The lounge is practically never left here. Never left here? What do you mean by never left here? Um, do I just keep going and see uh, what I've missed? Stanley was so bad at following directions. Never go left in that door. He wasn't five years ago. Everything is this way. All right. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Okay. All right. We'll be looking for things. There's a you uh, a you standing. A good view this way. Gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. Oh! I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, oh! but the fact is that oh! the story oh! has been oh! about oh! nothing but you oh! all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. How do you get there? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I I'm see. Not asking for me. I'm asking for no! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Okay, all Good right. Well, no, we'll, st we'll start again. Everyone we'll start again. thinks you are very powerful. Yeah, the catwalk. Right, 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 right. I'm going to do it again. This game needs a sprint button. What? How do I answer the phone? Contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? How do I say yes? Excellent. Oh. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Okay. You're welcome. All right. Cool. That was random as fuck. I don't know what that's going to do for me. Whatever. It's not my problem. It's probably my boss's problem. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. We're not going to admire the, the lounge. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, we're not. We're gonna get that, uh, that collectible. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't Shut up, narrator. Ago. I, look, the prize. Eyes on the prize. Okay, so... How... Hmm, maybe that will take me down somewhere? That'll kill me. I can't tippy toe there. All right, we're gonna take this, and then we'll jump onto the catwalk. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you we're gonna get it, we're gonna all get it. this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you. Relax. This, but I don't, I'm really not thinking do about you, narrator. You I'm thinking about the figurine. You something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No. And this is the one sometimes, uh, the one people sometimes get the first playthrough, VB. Enjoy this ride. Every path is a ride. Let's be real. I don't even know if this will take me to the figurine. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. <sighs> oh! You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. All right, all right, all right. I, I already know where the last one is. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Yes, great. Fantastic. All right. So we know where the last one is. The last one is in the that area earlier. 
The figure that is usually the second collective will be his last, really. <laughs> Wait, what do you want me to say? Give me a second. Danger zone. Yes, the danger zone. Isn't that a song? Pretty sure it is. All right, uh, red, blue. He told me to go to the red one, right? What if we just say no? Screw him. That's what he gets for trying to... Aha. Whoa! Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. No! I am my own master of my destiny! Whoa. Properly. Stanley walked through the red door. What happened to the blue door? Oh, here it is. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't Probably let the figurine. stop you. I need you that see? figurine. There's what? nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Oh. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it I worth the ruining figurine. the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you He's not so think mad. I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Wait, Stanley. What, Help that? elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Ooh, what did that? you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Uh, um, okay. All right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop you there. Now. Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. One. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even yes. helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. What are you talking about? Whoa! The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard? These are not real players, right? Where's my name? Really? Really? Has it really been seven hours? Holy crap, it has! At least that's correct. Uh, That's a lot of doors and steps. Okay. We're gonna go back in the orange room. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. One. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Huh? In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play? True, the baby sure does hate effective. my wife bucket. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. No, that's right. You're right. Yeah. No. You heartless bastard.
Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because babies it's annoy me. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of Especially ideas. Especially they're crying. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Uh, what? What? Aha. Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps My for creep some tower? Sort of twisted erotic purpose. <laughs> what? Hmm. Yes, that must be it. I what mean, a sometimes venture into the experience I, I just, of total mental uh, depravity. Uh, well, so far, I, I mean, everything about this game, you Stanley, know, and it seems there's even more voyeurism. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is the thing. There. Yeah, like Firewatch. I've heard of the game. Never played it myself. Cookbook. Suds. Space Puffs. Uh, Rusty. The Singular Mine. The Birds of Wyoming. The Patriots. Truck Alaska. Flora of the Shoshone? Okay. I mess around with any of this? That's the letter S. That's a super S. Like Superman. So VB, this ending had to be changed due to the change from Source to Unity. It was Minecraft before. Really? Oh. Huh. Not very serene. Wait, 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 wait. Can I mess around with the those things? It's pronounced Shoshone? That doesn't really help me. I don't know. Shoshone. Firewatch is an interesting game for sure. I don't play walking simulator games uh, that often. It's really rare. I think the only ones that I've ever played is this one and the one that's a horror game. I forgot what it's called. Oh, no. Layers of Fear. No, no, there you no, go. No, it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. Ah! I wait, wait. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. Uh, but I love open world, world games. That, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no Most right or wrong directions. No some of the time, actually. You can no, okay, wait, wait. Any... Some of the time I like open world oh, games. Oh, oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably no. something with walls. No, something but what's out nice, there? Ooh. Big, insurmountable walls. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't squeeze through. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Narrator wants me playing linear games. Damn. What? Wait. Wonderful. See this Rocket exactly League? What I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, so what exactly? It was we Portal last Let's time. See. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball. Did they get permission to do this? this? Game sports ball, Stanley. <laughs> I think sports it's ball. sports ball. Oh, what fun. We Every can sport is sports ball. We can do a touchdown together. Yes. I That's how that works, right? Must. Yeah. All right, okay, sure. Stanley, Where's here's the, ball? the ball? Have fun. Woo! Can we? Really? Oh, I'm so fast. Oh, let's go. I scored. Are you doing it? 
Are you winning? Is this fun? I think so. Is it so. better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of... You should probably ask John Manager. Then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. Multiple balls? I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. How many balls? Ooh, another ball. All right, I, yes. I need to oh, score goodness, this ball. It really does feel amazing, doesn't hold it? On, hold on, hold Stanley, on, hold on, hold on. I'm like a child no, 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 in a no, 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 this shop. way. I simply have to have yeah. more. I'm Where the insatiable. Fuck? Ah! What are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. I, I, uh, 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 this, I, but balls, what about the balls though, yeah, oh no, I, I screwed up, it's okay, you didn't ruin anything? He tossed some more balls until you came down there? Oh, really? This is so creepy, though. Where the hell am I going? I, I, I can't see! What is your obsession with balls? They're just, you know, really fun to play around with, that's all. I, I like to, you know put balls in holes so to speak what is this bro this is not gonna be uh, gonna be a horror game now is it oh light what welcome to the back rooms Four twenty-seven. Hey, this is my office? Question mark. What? Huh? I can't mess with anything. All right. Uh, let's go back. Stanley Parable Alf. Whoa. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. I mean, or I can go look for my bucket. The uh, oh. That happened. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. They actually delivered the boxes. You forgot to change your st stream title to Rocket League. True, yeah. You're correct. I wonder if I could take my bucket with me to the the catwalks. Would that change anything? I'm gonna go back to the catwalks and see uh, if Stanley anything changes if I go to the other door. Doors, this was not the correct the red door. The meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Why don't you go check out some of those windows? And the windows. Um, sure, I, I will, but, but let me go and try and get that business, collectible. Stanley took the first open door on his left. 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to get this one. Stanley was so uh, bad one more collectible. following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I'm gonna take this thing, the lift, and we're gonna go back on that. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. How does I'm one not your get enemy, there? Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else there's, is difficult. There's a the pathway fact is there. That the story has been about nothing but you all this time. And there. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. Had a few thousand boxes, yeah. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? You stared well, right at the root and ramp and ran by it. This, I, but wait, I wouldn't? really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. All right, Look, I'll, I'll come back it. here. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. After this. Now listen carefully. This is important. Okay, so we've Stanley done this before. Through the red door. Just making sure. All right, we went this way. We'll actually go through the red door. All right, what's in the red door, uh, oh, thank narrator? Thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you For see once. That I really have wanted you to be happy all this time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Uh, Don't you see that it's killing uh, I just, I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop, too. Would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped after and we I find think, the the last collectible solution here let me show you what the whoa that's scary what's over here though what ah okay all right sure Do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Part of one and two. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> well, that's nice and all, but what's over here? No, wait. Where are you going? I'm trying to look for the figurine, narrator. That's going to make oh, no. me happy. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. I don't believe we'll that. Lose all of this. I believe the collectibles here. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. What the hell? Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Oh, so I, uh, do I do it? This was the ending with the trigger warning. Oh, we, we, got, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. All right, here we go. No! Oh, thank God you lived. I just broke a few limbs, that's all. there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to, no. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what Bro, I was before. Uh, if you die, we'll both go back. Why repeat are you itself doing harm. This? Anybody who's watching this, please don't do that. Yeah. Doki Doki. <laughs> Doki Doki Stanley, all over again. Let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? My God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? Actually, Doki Doki is much worse. You'll this platform over and over to be rid of it. You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Well, don't say it like that. Correctly? Is he trying to gaslight me? Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, I... this one is yours. Damn. He legit sounds sad now. I, I, I feel bad for him. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. 
Your cat clawed you in the balls. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> Rip. Is this the same lady that took the order for the boxes? Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. What happens if I don't do that? Do I, do I, should I do it? I'm gonna do it. I, actually, I can't. <laughs> well, well, whatever. Um, yeah. I'm a horrible worker. I'm curious if I should take the bucket with me for the catwalk. We still got to get the uh, figurine the normal way, though, so we'll, we'll leave it alone. All right, we're going to see, you know, what you're talking about. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it The bucket longs well. for me. Perhaps he I long for the bucket, the too. Well, we, uh, we got to progress. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. So you said... So direction, what did I miss? Incredible he wasn't five Wait, years this? Ago. <gasps> Wait. Oh. oh my god! How did I miss this? First, let's get this. And there it is, the last Stiggly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. That's how I play. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all. Thank but you. But that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. Okay. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Except I found a message uh, back in the meeting room saying that you do actually get a, a reward for collecting them all. So what's up with that, narrator? How the hell is this little wooden bridge stable? How, how does this even work? Video games. Stiggly Wiggly. Okay, where Stanley are we now? Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun, shot so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun, shot so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun, shot so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the So I was not talking to the narrator at all? The narrator was seen the office had begun, shot so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun, shot so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun, shot so far off the beaten path. I can't believe it. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between Unless you and me. Unless this is also a recording place from somewhere. And it all turns out I'm just a tape recording. I it don't know. I've never seen your face. Head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending need to find waterfall Jean. of surprises Man, and delights. Stressed out looking for all the How figurines. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Ah. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. My fault? What?
Seriously? Okay, alright. Well, at least we got the figurines. Cool. Fantastic. Alright, uh, windows, right? You guys said, you mentioned something about windows? It's all white, though. There's nothing, you know, going on over here. Bucket time? Bucket on the catwalk. Yeah, you know what? True. I can do that, too. Uh, let's go look for the bucket. You know what to do next. Stanley, what the? I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. They're mine. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? You can't have Didn't them. It fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. Oh, God, is he going to play French music again? I... Okay, all right, yeah. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. He baited me with a Looney Tune wall. I mean, we said this before. This entire game is a Looney Tune. Zone, sweet zone. What happened to the computer software? What? Oh, wait, what? What the? What the? What? Should I go down there or should I go this way? Oh, it's not even. Okay, never mind. It's closed. Gotcha. I'm going down. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Does this mean I get seven? What? There was more than six! Okay, what's over here? I can't... How, how many collectibles are there, truly? Whoa, what the... My camera shaked. Whoa? And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. 69, yeah, right. Eight out of six is not even out of six anymore. It, what is happening? Are there 12? Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Uh... Boss's office. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey. I remember now. That's exactly right. It was here, behind the boss's office. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm yes, glad I these can moments count. are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. I almost did. <laughs> science is wrong. Let's cool. see, what came next? What? Oh, yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Pink room? Oh, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. No! There was no pink room! I'll still take it. Where the hell do I find this pink room?
Ah. This was the fifth mini stand, and yeah. this one was really something special. Yeah. It was by the red and blue doors. I remember it so clearly. That's In 50%. fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Oh, what, what, what? What is this, Windows Movie Maker? I, I feel like I'm back in the 2000s again. Oh my God, do you remember the days of, you know, anime music videos, AMVs? People would use uh, Windows Movie Maker. Old school YouTube videos, yeah. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Eight minutes? Bro, I spent hours working on my videos. Eight minutes ain't nothing. What? It's a crappy PowerPoint. Yeah. Boomer nostalgia. Uh... Oh, they lead the same way. What the hell? What the? Oh yeah! And then Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine. Yeah. Right here in the warehouse. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. Is it, it a sepia? Oh, wait. Any other. Except oh, yeah. the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. How do I turn off a sepia? <laughs> yeah, 12 out of 6. Turn off post-processing again. Uh... Oh. Oh. You are in the present. The past. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Bleh. Um... No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. And now we go back to old Lion's Arch, yes. Okay, yes, this spot in the warehouse. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. Gotta get back, back to the past Samurai Jack. Watch out. So there's a lot more than 12? Narrator, we don't need to keep doing this. I imagine this is how, you know, those classic WoW people feel. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> yes, I love that video. Fourteen out of... I don't even know anymore. I don't know how many figures there are. It just doesn't stop. Still don't remember the pink room. Yeah, me neither. Stanley. Still no memory of this one. You know what this is supposed though, to be, narrator? Solid room. No, this is supposed to be the very first one. The one back in the uh, Stanley Parable 2 Museum. Yeah, this is, there is no pink room. <laughs> Bridge nap all over again. 
These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Ah, intrinsic game design. No, everybody's looking for the Big Bam Wahoo. My head hurts from the figure loop. I know, right? Wait. Oh, we've never been this way. Oh, there's nothing over here. Okay, never mind. It's a dead end. And then this is the bathroom. This is our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. You'll find those people playing classic WoW again. Yeah. Still playing Team Fortress 2. Or CSGO. This is it. The you very know those first people. one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Okay. Narrator, please. I just, I just want to go back. Narrator, take me back. I don't want to be in the past anymore. I want to move on. Collectibles. The jump circle. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually it's too bad I fond of it now. Don't have any jumps Look left. Look how much fun the past is. I want more, more memories. Don't be hating on classic WoW because it's beautiful. Bro, that looks like a filthy Nintendo 64 title. What are you talking about? Try it? I can't. I'm pressing spacebar. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's uh, it's not working. All right. I want to move forward. I play modern games. Did you just call Nintendo 64 filthy? Yeah, there were some great titles. I don't think they hold up, though. Oh, yes. The two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. They both lead the same way. All right. I guess I already got the achievement. What What achievement? And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? No. Was there something that came That's before it. your office? No. There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Stop. What? Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then, somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. Wait, what? I would cheer him I'm on. A, I'm a fictional character? For no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I'm I not real? To imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so. It won't be. It won't be the Stanley parable. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone. How about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling this story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley.
one more and then he's gonna retire me? And that's it? That's sad. Also, how many dabs is that? 20, 3, 4, 5, 35? Alright, 35 dabs. I am doing 35 dabs because you want, you guys want this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Is there a dabbing ending? <laughs> Maybe you should stay in your office. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This There's two more deaths. Anyway except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh! Huh? What? You might as well just open the door. You didn't need to reload. I can't. Ten more dabs. All right, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I'm making you do dabs for hating on my childhood memories. I'm not hating on your childhood memories, but that's what they are. Childhood memories. Things, you know, you know, get better later on. I don't know why people like to live in the past. How long Rose tinted goggles there? and all that. Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time Hydrate. from now on. Sure. I have lemonade, but let's uh, drink some actual water. The do nothing ending, my favorite ending in Far Cry. That was in Far Cry 4, right? I heard about that. AVB, I hear employee 434 is pretty cool. 434? 434. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's go see how cool they are. 434. 432. 1. 3. What the hell? Oh, here we go. You mean the answering machine? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. I don't know. What... I don't see it. I don't get it. Sit there and enjoy the crab rangoons. I never pass up cran crab rangoons, so it's the first ending you got. <laughs> Another chair? Uh, okay. Is it another office? I don't understand. All right, so I'm able to get on top of the desk. Is that something? Hey, Asaria. Eating hamburger. Hamburger helper. Soylent green. I don't know what that is. Seems you got some elevation. Oh! 
wait. No. Okay. Uh, no? 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 Maybe, what? Oh, is this one of them out of bounds endings, maybe? That you talked about? I don't know how you're supposed to get out, though. I don't, I don't understand this. Maybe I go through the window? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. Yeah, what do you all right. Think? Are you sick of this gag? Yeah. Yet? Are you sick of this gag? Yeah. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. True. Like right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate What if I just want to exhaust switch. all the dialogue? Any of these points and so many, many oh. more, all of them are appropriate. I just want to register I'm the enjoying ending. enjoying what seems to Load be the an screen for me, then. conflict going on where you are literally... Yeah, true, I can press escape and, you know, restart the game, but you can also the load game. the game for me, too. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. Maybe yes was the wrong Stanley answer. Liked I think I pissed buttons. off the narrator. He pushed them like some kind of glut. But he said he was sick of it too. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. What? You too will become quite unbearable. Uh, you're gonna load the game for me, narrator? Narrator? Narrator, please. You, sh you thought he was gonna play some Nickelback? <laughs> oh no. Is this truly it? No, hold on, maybe if I continue walking in a certain direction? No? I'm like in a box. I can't move outside this box. Yeah, first time I've seen you live, I'm following you on YouTube, really love your streams. Yo, Valerian, thank you. How's it going? From my Guild Wars 2 content, right? Yeah, 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 welcome. You so famous now. I wouldn't say that. I'm like, uh, wh how do I describe myself? I am slightly more known than I was a few months ago. There you go. Yeah. All right. Nothing's happening. Do I really have to? <sighs> I'm going to begin the game again. All right, fine. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. I think we'll do the bucket thing now, right? <laughs> yeah, for your Guild Wars 2 videos. No. Hey, yo, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, a lot of these peeps uh, are also from uh, Guild Wars 2. I'm gonna grab that. The bucket made I'm gonna take it to the cat wall. And a better co-worker. In time, perhaps he would become. Both or the we can take the bucket to the window. Mm -hmm. 
Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? Here we go. What? Yes, whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket began to what? tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, War? desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret, what? and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger, of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could the have The bucket done, was a perhaps, traitor? The bucket wondered to itself. I don't perhaps, think so. If it had seen its own There have been many times the bucket could have perception. betrayed us. It never this really did. This way too much for Stanley. The what bucket's a veteran. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, his brow? The bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gamb Horata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of. No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! <coughs> you are a. Bucket. No, that's my wife. I would so not. I would not stupid. say that. Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power. Its fangs glistening like. <gasps> my God! <gasps> you did it. You saved us from the bucket. No! Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. But well, the bucket's so my much. wife! You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, I lost two let's wives! Let's restart the game and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a Horcrux? Maybe. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley right. just needed to get to the meeting room. We need to go on, again. We need to say no this time. Let's say again. let's say no. ABB, did you know there's an achievement for clicking on door 435 times? Five times? What? One, two, three, four, oh, five. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times? Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. This game is so damn weird. I agree with you, Valeran. You have no idea. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Mm. Oh, okay. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing count from one again. for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, no! almost certainly 50 clicks. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? What? 417? Where's 417? Where's 417? Do 20 clicks on a door he doesn't even say. 417. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Ooh, 20. Great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. What if I just do 20 clicks on a random door, like Gamble said? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, that doesn't do anything. All right, four, three, seven. It is four, three, seven. Where is four, three, seven? There it is. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere now. Door four one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. What have you made me start? Now, back to door number 437. This is... I... I hate... The one dreaded quest line that I hate in every RPG. You know, the delivery quest line. Where I go deliver, you know, something from NPC 1 to NPC 2. And NPC 2 says, oh no, but I, I need something from NPC 3. I go to NPC 3. NPC 3 wants something from NPC 4. And it just keeps on going like that. I... This is what this feels like. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. What? The copy machine? All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419. Okay, where's 419? 418? 419. Okay. How? Okay, here we go. Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's give me the it achievement! Up. Give me a few clicks on door 416. Where's 416? 416 is this way, right? We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! <laughs> Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door four, three, zero! One, two, three, four, five! Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could have been I got the bad. achievement. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? I didn't even want the achievement. I'm not even an achievement hunter. Not really. Anyway, I... J Perhaps you should try the window answer? Oh, yeah, thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna say no to the window. All right. I am... I, uh, what? Come on, get, get, get on. Get, get on, get on, get on. Get, 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 get on. There we go. All right, and then we, uh... We go like that, and then like that, and then we crouch, and then boom. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. 
So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. Yeah, let's what go. do you think? Let's Are you sick of this gag yet? I mean, my my real answer is yes, but all right, we're going to say no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. No. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Hey, are you Clearly, dead? this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, yes. continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. So if I press no, what happens? What? Wait, what? I... Is, is that it? He got me. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, I think we're done here. <sighs> all right. Can we get back to the bucket? The bucket on the catwalk. What? Ah, where's my bucket? Oh, okay, all right. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chin. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Sorry, Stanley I freaked out because uh, I didn't see the office. Him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. You can't do two in one go. What are you, a monster? And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. To now the question to the is, meeting. should I go on the catwalk or the ramp? No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo catwalk. lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not the to. The bucket think is my wife. I don't question it. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. There's still two more non-bucket endings in here. What else did I miss? No, oh. stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. What? Where? Stanley, oh. how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless... Was that always the there? Is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket. This is a I bucket! Suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true... I know what's oh a bucket! My goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Oh, okay. Now what? Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios. I feel like this is like a stripper runway. Where's the... Is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. 
Okay, let's begin. Item one, is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Bullshit! Item two. Is this a bucket? Yes! Yes, it is! Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. That's still a bucket! Item three. Should have phoned a friend? A what is this? I want to be a, a millionaire? N yes, it's a bucket. They're all buck. Correct. This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? No! Correct. This is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. Okay, next one. There, what? Is this a bucket? We've... This... No, it's not! Incorrect. This is a bucket. That's not a bucket! Item six. Is this a bucket? It's, yes, it's a bucket! Trick question. Both. What? Yeah. I don't... How? Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Huh? Wait. What? Uh, yes? Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. I and I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket, <laughs> when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore <laughs> nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Just to mess with the narrator, sure. Yeah, look, you know what? I'm that crazy now. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. Same! I've lost all sense of perspective. I, what yeah. is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with... Vivi's wife is nothing to him? And yet no, that, that was a joke. Adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am you know I how it is? You know how, how husbands are? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. What? But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. No. Okay. Here we go. No, 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 no. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait. Was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what... I'll reset everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know yeah. that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? I... All right, here we go. Drive me insane. Drive them insane. Oh, my God. Okay. 
Who who's calling now? Hi Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. My bucket wife? I, I, I'm so confused. I am, I am so lost. I am, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Come with me, wife bucket. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Maybe you should go ignore your mannequin wife. To be honest, I don't even remember where that ending is. I'm gonna go take this bucket to the Stanley clutched the, the bucket ramp tightly to his chair. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Did you hear how she was talking to you? Your bucket wife wants the D. To be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it? No. <laughs> Never mind. The bucket was. Wrong. After I do this run, Stanley took. You may have to direct me where that is because I, I, I think I forgot. But yeah, after. No said the bucket don't go to the meeting room go somewhere else the cargo lift yes go there go to the no, cargo we're lift. going this way there's nothing over there right no not anymore okay all right oh, oh across the lift oh, okay now i remember Day number 295, tape number... <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. My wife bucket is pretty no shapely. How many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. Thick. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Oh, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still. I haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... This guy sounds like what Fan do Daniel. What I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. Yeah. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. I can put this on YouTube and put ads. This is my golden ticket. Yes. But I have to be careful because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Oh, yeah. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get. What's that? Who's there? Dark Wizard! Oh my god! What? Holy shit! Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? 
There was a computer, perhaps. It doesn't matter anymore. We're taking, uh... All right. So we're gonna... Wait, do I take the bucket with me and then take it to the lift across? Or do I... Do I leave the bucket alone? I actually forgot. Elder God bucket has awakened. Oh my god. Imagine. Tentacles coming out of the bucket. Well, for the alternate of one, you didn't need... You didn't... Well, for the alternate of one, you didn't do. I'm Stanley a little confused by that. The bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place. Did you jump off the lift with the bucket yet? Yes, I. I yes, yes, I did. I believe and I did. Here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the? You didn't do room? the non-bucket yes, versions Stanley of two more. Himself. Yes, perhaps. No. Never mind. The bucket was Basically, wrong. an original ending you still Stanley haven't done yet. The door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Okay. Well, I, I currently have the bucket on me. Um, no, let's see. Said the bucket. I remember going Don't all go the way the there room. with the bucket. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. I went yes. that way. Go I went there. down here. Go I fell. To the cargo lift. Um, should I just bre I'll begin the game again. I hear Stanley doesn't like answering phones. All right, and we're gonna go answer the phone again. Or, I don't know, we're going to interact with the phone, and then if that doesn't work, we'll come back here bucketless. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself, and constantly needed support and guidance from others. I did the bucket so destroyer, the yeah. total solitude was terrifying to him. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Or simply not interact with it. Well, uh, I couldn't anyway. I was pressing the button and nothing was happening. Okay, no bucket. We're just gonna go straight to our mannequin wife, I guess. Well, not this phone? Oh, Stanley the phone over here. Okay. This was not all right, all right, all right, all right. Meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I see. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. My mind is still blown by the evil dark wizard Gamma, Gamma Gura, Gamma Giri, so Gamma Gura, whatever their name is. Gamma Tora. Years ago. Gamma Boomta. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Ignore the, the call, yeah. The I, I think I jogged my memory now. This time. Enough. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Yeah. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for I'm her. Asking right, for right, her. my wife. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To Not put your work aside, to let her back into your life, she's been waiting. Uh. Yeah. All right. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I don't think I'll be doing that. That sound is annoying. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, would it would it have kept ringing if I didn't uh, pull the plug? Okay, all right. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? I, I, you actually... I pulled it. ...chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. What Let me mean? There's, there's a wire. There's a, there's a, look, it's a thing. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? 
None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. What, what are you going to do now, narrator? Choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What? What did you find? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. But... <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you, you just noticed now? Choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could I really feel a like I'm playing that eliminates Fallout. food shortages across the world to make life better Ooh. for all Ooh. people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you I find can't yourself do math speaking anymore. with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm no, supposed it's 10, to be having a back sack and crack. What the? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at uh, least eight choices That's a bad choice. Who day. does that? Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. And the feeling Very should subside. True. Yeah. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Florida man. Yeah, true. <laughs> ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. What and the? see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. What the hell? Okay. What? Where are we going? Are we going back? Do I take the thing again? I guess I do. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Oh, Imagine what? The main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. If only that was something that uh, Bioware had thought of. Oh, maybe I can't. No. Or. Ah, oh, they got rid of the ramp too. Uh, okay, all right. there you'll take the door on the left back to the correct ending the story will have resolution once again and you'll be home free in the real world the real world wait what's oh probably nothing game on rails now welcome to baby gate the game <laughs> Remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, 
What if I don't do that? What if I just go back? No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Whoa! What happened here? What is happening? The game is, um... Collapsing on itself. A chaos incursion. I, I guess I have to go left. To be honest, I don't have anything against uh, linear games. I don't mind playing some linear games, you know, that are on rails every now and then. I'm tearing oh, reality apart. It's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. I, Why? I'm, For I, what? What I, did you get out of that? What did you think was so I like to explore my options. Undone, left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To win no, 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 We'll answer. find another answer. Do do? We'll just, just find another door. We'll just find another door. No, I have to. I no, no, have no. To shut the game no. down. No, 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 no. I have to. No, 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 no. I oh, 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 oh. thought he was so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine. Just restart it. The ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, I there's a damn Stanley. good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. You're a bitch! Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... Oh. ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. No. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Hey. Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, well, we are in a building that contains a mind control facility, so there is a bit of brainwashing going on here. <sighs> Fine, the left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, the collectible Stanley stuff to is go gone. To his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, all right, sure. Anything new? Oh, I can't open it. It's oh, it's locked. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. They blocked the, the downstairs, too. It really is on rails now. How about the bathroom? No? The, the panda room? It's green. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. Two eight four five. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark what the 115. Hell? Night was shark. this the code to open the door? Would it still work? What? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. How do I... Oh. Uh, okay. How? How? Please speak clearly <clears throat> into the... Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. I don't... He spoke it into the receiver right there on the I, wall. I, I'm trying. There's no button. I can't talk. Narrator, give me give me a voice. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Yes. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This I don't... Is a I can't. This step. I think this is an oversight. You didn't develop a voice for my character. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You I tried! Choice, you, know. you could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever I did. the hell you wanted over I there. I did! Why did you come this way? Speak! Say something to There's me! There's no other way! Explain yourself, you coward! You... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand that? The Whatever choice you make is just fine. The, the end, the end. Can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs What? It. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. This is what you get, narrator. <laughs> Me and the narrator are, uh, we have some complications, chat. I think, uh, once he's calmed down, we may have to go to counseling together. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. And we're back over here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. All right. Um, what have I not done yet? Is there a bucket version of the phone thing that we just did where we unplug the cord? Now the bucket version. Okay. All right. Stanley's bucket, the only co-worker he would ever truly need. 
This is true. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was I am so sorry I killed you, room, Bucket, but in that one ending. Stanley the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left no. to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced Who that a, the bucket a facility had like this? Him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Okay. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Yes. And then... There it is. All right. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Nope, not this time. Whoa, <laughs> hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A no. talking bucket. It's, it's my wife. Don't you see? Oh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up What do you joke? mean? Should what about that backstory about Gama Gura Galugura? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in what all is likelihood, this, the Simpsons? you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief VB. synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With VB? these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, <laughs> I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. I I'm Dunny with the funny. Good. This yeah. saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand I'm out get surveys. I'm if I ever say that out loud. from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be One prepared to give our lives leg. to this noble cause, just as our like, children must do human. after us and their like. children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme.
what universe does this game take hey place in? goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Oh boy. Okay. All right. We're back I on the on rails thing. This time, yeah. I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous! How absurd! What a hilarious concept! Yeah, the very king funny. of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had. Guys, I just realized later. something. Otherwise, the bucket sticker is gone. Where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy. That's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Dude, what happened to my bucket sticker? Imposter bucket. This is not my real wife bucket. Again. What? Oh. Where are we going? Oh, here, right, the two doors. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. I'm going on the right. <laughs> well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious well, mistake. The, the right door, but yeah. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke telling wealth. I wouldn't say I you're the king of comedy. You're, you're all right. I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Uh, you can watch it on your yes, own time. Surely that will help me improve my. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Will it do the same thing if I go right again? We're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Uh, oh, uh, Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Something running around my room. Oh, no. You should probably invest in some mouse traps. Uh, okay, we're going to go left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, what? leading back to the phone. Why did you not even look at the instructional video? What? I think this is all covered very clearly. What? No, There's he no said way left. I can make the comedic Chad, he said left, work right? now. It's done. The he joke said... is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. No. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community. Of I was actually jokes. following your instructions. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you, um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Let, well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, it's a delivery. You use the same pale joke. Pale with shame. Pale with shame. I got it. Pale What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. Oh, that's no. so bad. No, no, no. That is just so bad. Narrator, you're just embarrassing yourself now. I just, 
I know good is this what it's like to have an out of body experience? More instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Wait, the room is blue. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, The secret blue office. There's a bucket here, too. This is a random ending? All right, so... Sh uh, I guess I'll leave the bucket alone then for this time. We had no control over this. Also, this is completely RNG. A bucket. <laughs> hey, this is my real bucket. This one has the sticker. All right, but we're gonna have to leave it alone. What? Hold on. Now it just goes back on track. Yeah, this is. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in oh. any way. Oh. 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 Huh? Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Dog mode. What the? Oh my god, when I click it barks. missing now well what, what should i do next i'm asking for real for real since uh we've done the bucket version of that thing now uh let me drink oh i ran out of arnold palmer i guess i'll drink some water instead anyway the other two endings i need to be explicit on all right go for it Dog mode permanently toggled on now, I wonder? Maybe, probably. I wonder if it leads to a dog ending. You need to back out of specific uh, things to cancel a path. So one is with lift on the right. Lift. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. And you get on and immediately off, so well. it leaves you. Perhaps he wanted oh. to stop by the employee lounge first. Okay, all right. We'll try that. It was okay. But eager to never thought about doing business, that. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. Oh, no, it I is. you can make it. No, I tried. Several times, in fact. Yeah, I can't. Come on. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't no. tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. I've done do this. It, do it. Do no. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, shut up. The other one is the office door. The office door? The Which office door do you mean? Because there are like a lot of office doors. Do you mean like the boss room? Dogmo needs to be a new addition to the soundboard. <laughs> Just a random dog bark. You do the same thing with boss's office so you get locked out next run. The boss's office? So, the elevator? Is that what you mean? And yes, you jump off here. Oh. Alright, I'm jumping then, if you say so. 
Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. I mean, I knew that. I saw that coming. Okay. You do the same thing with the boss's office. You get locked out next run. Yeah, the keypad room you enter and back out immediately so the doors close. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply oh. missed a memo. Okay. When Boss Stanley came this to this way. a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What the hell? It's raining. Huh, I never heard that before. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ooh, ooh. That was scary. Uh, okay, you were saying something. Uh, so you'll get locked out on the next run. You jump over there, keypad room. You enter and back out immediately so the door is closed. You mean these doors right here? B or do you mean this door? Here's the door. Just Damn it! Go. I think I have to start over. Found the others. Whatever they were. Just a matter of time. All right. Let's do the easy uh, thing before Is I stress Stanley out. Without the bucket? I'll really take the bucket. At all? No. No, surely not. And then we're going to do Stanley the back out version the of the left. Tightly to his this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Okay. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. There we oh, go. Well, look who's got cold feet. Well, from here, it looks like the only way forward is down, since the lift won't be coming back, but that's okay. You've got a bucket. Did you know that buckets are routinely used as cushioning devices? This is true. We've done this uh, a couple a of times from before. Literally any height and survive. Yeah. All right. Let's go test that out. I'm serious, Stanley. Jump. Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Well, that's barely different at all. <laughs> he just mentions the bucket. All right. Here's the door. Got it! Yes! I broke the game! All right! Uh, so I'm assuming I go back this way? You gotta go back to your office, yeah, okay. Oh, this is a little creepy. The narrator's not talking anymore. Did he get lost? Okay, all right. No? What? What is this? What? You are now leaving. Leaving the building? Escape? <gasps> Escape pod bay? Wait, what? I'm going away. Well, that's locked. I'm just going. What the hell? 
How, how, how high up does this go? Huh? Set floor 760. Okay, just a couple more floors. It's not that bad. At least it's not Final Fantasy 7. Right? You know the... The one staircase that went on and on. Oh... Escape pod launch bay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good thing that it didn't start at one. Very good thing. It's so dark. I can't see anything. Uh. Oh, oh okay. All right. Ooh, you climbed up 17 flights of stairs? I, I guess that was the escape pod ending. Okay then, alright. The Metal Gear- the Metal Gear Ladder. Alright, now the bucket version. As Stanley lifted his bucket, he felt a connection you know what? with all It reminds me of uh, one of the this worst days of my life. Um, all of them. There was this... I guess it was a charity Stanley event. It was some kind of event. Um, and, entered the door on his and I climbed up... What was it? 50... Anywhere between 50 to 70 flights of stairs? I actually don't remember how... Uh, how tall the building was. No it was, was one of the tallest buildings Stanley in LA. The bucket's warmth and comfort now and um, me, my brother, and my father where he'd find answers. climbed up the Stanley building the from the upstairs bottom upstairs to the top. To the well, and a bunch of other people. There was a thing going on, an event. Yeah, that was terrible. I felt horrible by the time I got to the top. Yeah. So you can imagine how I felt. Come on. Come on. Oh. Got it. Yes. Ooh, practice. No, I don't think anything's different, right? I mean, there was no dialogue when I went down the escape pod. Every year there's a fireman charity, even though which includes climbing the stairs to the tallest building in Dallas. Not fun. Maybe uh, for people who are athletic, sure, fine. Maybe it's going to be the same. I don't... Oh, no, 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 no. This is... Yeah, this is the same so far. The loading screen just threw me off for a second. Now we just need to go to floor 760. The escape pod said it required a narrator, so it ended. I don't read. <laughs> I, I did not read that. <laughs> oh no. We got a bucket. The bucket's better than a narrator. Maybe it'll let us pass... Or maybe simply it will just end the same. How about the sign that said escape pod, no buckets allowed? That it, there was no sign like that. There was no such uh, sign. The bucket comes with me. Okay. All right. Here we go. And... 
Wait, what? Am I saying goodbye to my wife bucket? I'm going with, right? No. That was so sad. Bro! My bucket. Damn. Alright, VB, quit to the main menu. Uh, okay, alright, sure. And then what? Don't be sad, there's still more to come. <laughs> Involving my bucket wife? And now no bucket to catch your tears. Oh shit. Damn. What a lonely existence. Stanley is just trapped in this office building forever. But he had to at least let his bucket wife go. And live a life for her own. You may need to restart. You'll need to restart the game. The- oh! <laughs> I've unlocked tribulation mode. Uh, all right, let me restart the game. <laughs> Quitting to desktop. Give me a moment. All right, so we're back at Steam. I'm clicking on play. Haven't you learned already? The game is very meta. Yeah, I know. Just wait, what? Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Yo, Finn the chat 121212. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Um this doesn't matter. I don't care. Confirm. What the hell? Please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. Huh? They said they would be new sliders. I forgot about that. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Adapt, sure. Please adjust the slider until the number five becomes the number nine. What? It said friends, not lovers. Cats and dogs can be lovers. Right? Maybe? I don't know. Please adjust the sliders until you stop adjusting the slider. What? I do not understand the question. Uh, which of the two made-up words below is most appealing to you? Okuboinkle? Or scrum tush. I feel like I may have said uh, some kind of slur, a foreign slur. I, oh, I like the onky boinkle. Yeah, that sounds very suggestive. Please don't adjust the slider. All right, sure. You know what? Don't tell me what to do anymore. Do you know what time it is right now? Yes. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Yeah? What is time, anyway? What? Time is yes. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yeah, lots. Help? Um, Monica? 
Will you come back to visit me? Oh, I'm getting Monica vibes right now. That's previous you still stuck in the game. We're going to lie because this is the last playthrough, at least for a long while. Don't tell whoever this is. Yeah. Yeah, in 10 years, maybe, for the achievement, right? Holy shit. Will I even remember in 10 years? Probably not, to be honest. All right, that's crazy. Um, Anything else? What else is there left to do? Restart? Really? Again? Okay, alright, sure. Give me a moment. And play. It's always so trippy when you look at a game, see how long it's been, and still think it was just yesterday when you played it. What the hell? I can't even decipher what Buttspot is saying. What time is it? Do Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all of the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do. Like a day job. And now the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I do! I have a clock right here. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You're telling me this now? You won't have me here when the game starts next time. But that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. Bullshit! You like being alone, don't you? Sometimes. That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There is still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again, if you can find me. Talk soon. Oh. Hey, wait! There's a new button! Look at that! It says epilogue! Uh, okay, I'm gonna click it. Oh my god. They did pro promise an epilogue, yeah. Many, many years later? Better not refer to the skip button ending. Oh, come on! <laughs> I can't. I can't. A lot changed in 10 years. What, isn't this a lot more than 10 years? Whoa! Where did I get this chair? So, canonically speaking, this ending, or the epilogue, takes place after the skip button fiasco, right? This is the only way that this makes sense. It's part of that cont uh, continuity. What? I didn't look at the cup.
What? What is that? Is that? No. The museum. What the fuck? Look around? Wait, what the f There's more. Wait, what's this over here? I need to find something? I found something over here. Is that something? Phone booth with a, a naked man in it? Yeah, right. Oh my god! The bucket! We're together again! Bro! This is like... One of them sappy romance stories where you think, you know, it was a, um, a tragic, uh, but, you know, happy ending. But then, years later, you know, the two um, end up uh, together again. Reminds me of that one anime. What was that anime? You know, the sad anime. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Or was that reincarnation? You know what I mean. I think it was reincarnation. My wife is back. Good thing you did that last ending, right? Is that it? I'm not missing anything? Alright. Time to repopulate Earth! We're gonna make sweet, sweet bucket babies! Hell yeah. My name? No! Oh, your name! I haven't seen your name yet. Um... That is not what I was referring to. Thing is, if I, uh, outright say what anime it is, that's a spoiler. <laughs> In loving memory, the Stanley Parable 2. <gasps> what the hell? It's all in ruins. is this? Cookie Nine's blog? Isn't this the one where the narr- yeah, the narrator complained about this one. Jim? Wait, Jim? What do you mean, Jim? Hold on, I'm- I'm skimming through everything here. Just to uh, see if there's anything new. Where are the new endings, I must say. Alright, there you go. Look at the years. The years. Posted on April 27. By Cookie9. Oh, right here. Um, review. Okay, recent comments. Go guy. Uh, archives. 2027. 2013. 2012? 2027? What? Hey, Sam. Your name is Jim. My name is not Jim! And neither is it Stanley. It's Vanilla Bean. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. It's the gym buttons. Jim. Oh my. Jim. 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 Stanley 2 release date confirmed? Is it? Maybe? Probably? I don't know. You were saying, VB? My name is not Jim. That's what I'm saying. 
Stanley Parable developers, no more spin-offs, no more sequels. When the game launched in 2013, made plans to build property into an entire franchise, the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions. It's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want. We thought that we had a vision, yet it turns out this could not have been farther than the truth. Uh, preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. <laughs> oh my. You could use a good hole. I'm, I'm sure you could. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's just more gym buttons. Make sure to press all of them at once. <sighs> Seriously? No. Nothing's gonna happen. Jim. 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 These ones uh, are not lit up. Alright, we're gonna try these. The hole? You already talking about the infinity hole? Jim. How many gym buttons are there? Gym, gym, gym. This does nothing. Jim Stanley. Jim. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho Jim Stanley. 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 The narrator had a Stanley button. What a dick. What an absolute dick. He is a liar. Oh my god. It's all the collectibles. Nope, not even. It's more collectibles. I... There are not 69 collectibles. N At least you got a bucket to store them. This is very true. What the... What? I... Uh... What? Uh, maybe over here? No? Also, that's the infinity hole. Wait, the infinity hole? You mean this right here? Time to get back to work, Jim. I don't... There's nobody to work for! Oh! Oh my god. They're back. Mifa SR, thank you for the follow. Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will be there will never be another Stanley Parable game. There doesn't have to be. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise? What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. No, no, I don't know. No, please no, please no. Don't turn this into Halo. Please. And if people hate it, who cares? I care! You see, that was the narrator's problem. I could outrun a centaur. Okay, right, sure, yeah, all right, um, no, I cannot outrun a centaur. You see, 
that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. Oh my god. Your name is Jim? My name is Stan... No, sorry, that's not even correct either. V Vanilla Bean. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also really need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead. Try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. What the? So, VB, to save you time, we can tell you what to choose here? There's... There are wrong decisions? Okay, yeah, sure. What do I cho uh, choose? If uh, if there are wrong decisions, then tell me. That's unfortunate, though, because then I would have, you know, gone with, I don't know, Crocodile Pirate? Stanley versus Pirate? That, that sounds badass. Stanley versus Pirate. Anyway, uh, not with the name. Agreed to his plan at the end. Not with the... Oh, okay. Go for some lavish ice cream right now. Me too. Say what you want here. Okay, all right. Stanley versus Pirate. Confirm. The Stanley Parable 3. Stanley versus Pirate. <laughs> it's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. But w will there be new content? And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Oh, come on! What is this? Overwatch 2? Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content, recycled again and again and again, with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Uh... Agree. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> this is FIFA or Madden. <laughs> uh, good, then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you've put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Oh, right, yeah, no. Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel churning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please end... Enter the current time. Oh my... Okay. Alright. Um, it's 11.30. You said one more thing! Confirm. Ah. Uh. Every sports game ever, right? Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. VB, now that you beat the game, I wonder if you can bring Bucket? I, I, but I brought the Bucket! What are you talking about? He's playing the new game, the Stanley Parable 3, Stanley vs. Pirate. Sweet pirate ship. <laughs> it's a pirate ship! If you think about it, cars are basically land ships. There you go. Uh, don't forget to change your Twitch category. <laughs> Uh, it's a replacement with the achievement. 
He didn't beat the game. Bring the bucket to the achievement machine. I don't remember where that is. Uh, so what do I do? Do I begin the game or do I go to epilogue again? I assume that I, um, that I, uh, begin the game. Just start. Okay. All right. You may have to direct me to the machine because I forgot where it is. Grab this bucket is and walk. This is the story of a man named okay. Stanley. Can I skip this? Stanley worked for a company. I already know what, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I know what happens. Thank you, narrator. Welcome back, by the way. Wow. Nothing's changed. All of his co-workers were gone. All right, Stanley mean? Parable 3, Stanley you guys. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he <coughs> simply missed a memo. Okay. Bring the bucket to the new content. Okay. Excuse you. That was not me. That was you guys. What new mysteries lay in store for our bucket-loving heroes today? Let's find out. To new content? Oh. New content? What does that mean? New content. And then over here? Dab. Sure. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I've already seen this. I know. The Stanley I know. Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After yeah, Stanley has been Earth's building success, all that gas it was up. expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside what? and see what, what, what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I'm still looking for that machine, but okay. Wait, Stanley. I've just now realized. That bucket you're holding, it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? How do you have the bucket already? Oh. This, this makes no sense at all. Oh. You're right! Hold on. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? I don't remember doing that at all. I You're seeing things all out of order. I yeah, I, it's this is never mind, narrator. It's fine. Uh, this is totally not the Stanley Parable three. All right, all right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. There are no jumps. Uh, no jumps left. Unfortunately, feels bad. Okay, all right. We're still going. The infinite hole, the giant door. Did you see them already? Stanley, none of them are ready yet. I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look <laughs> when you saw them? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did they fulfill on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? Had I figured out how the hell to make a sequel to this game? Please. Maybe, probably. Damn, uh, the narrator's having a, an identity crisis right now. Did you see that Asmin also played this game? Uh, not yet. I mean, I know that he's played the game, but that's been sitting on my Watch Later playlist. Um, I'll watch it after I finish this tonight. Well, I'm not gonna right after, but yeah, I, I plan to watch his video later. Wait. If you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Yes, you carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. 
The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it. I win. I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Yes, the sign. And I made Thank a sequel to the sequel content. of Thank the Stanley you for Parable. The bucket everywhere with you, clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It means I've won. It means I am victorious over the gamers. It is a sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win. 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 This is getting. This is giving me a headache. I am so like. What? What? But, but, but the machine, the achievement machine. I haven't found it. He won, but what about the machine? Landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe. He's not referring monsters. to my bucket anymore. I say we take it one step even further, which is why oh, I'm very the museum. To announce for the first okay. time ever the Stanley Parable Two. Technically, it's the Stanley Parable Three now, so. I found dog mode. I don't know about dog bucket mode. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. I don't it's know if I want fact. 69 figurines anymore. I'm sort of like running on fumes now. As you can see, I got the, the achievement. machine is not working yet since... What? Wait. What in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? Yeah! Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um... It truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. <laughs> He's freaking <Just> out. <laughs> uh, all right. Now what? Can I go back? I should be able to. I wonder if you can take Bucket to the Bucket room behind you. Wait, there are two buckets here. How did you get a second bucket? Oh no, the warmth and comfort of a single bucket is already so great, so intoxicatingly wonderful. With two buckets, there's no telling. Stanley, can you still hear me? Are you with me? <laughs> oh God. Stanley! Oh. oh, thank God. I didn't lose you, Stanley. The power of two buckets was too much. I had to destroy both of them. No. I know how much the bucket meant to you. But I couldn't take the risk. No! I hope one day you can forgive me. I... I went so far to get them back! I put them on an escape pod. I went hundreds of years into the future. How... How... Oh, I can't. I... I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I uh, quit to desktop. And I'm gonna restart the game. And play. You don't think the bucket was supposed to be there? <laughs> Maybe the bucket is immortal. Really? The Stanley Parable 4? Part 5. <laughs> the final! No, 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 no. Part five. Part five. Uh... 
the beach episode swimming pool i don't know <laughs> The ex-wife! Yeah! Who needs her anyway? We have our bucket! Alright. Quit the desktop. We're doing it again. Alright, uh, I, I, I'm uh, restarting the game. Looks like this episode is a steamy one. Hey. <laughs> Stanley Parable is rated R now. Stanley Parable 5. Uh, the Revenge of the... <laughs> the Revenge of the Boyfriends! What? What is happening? If face punch doesn't work when you get in a new play, heck with it, uh, but I can lead you to the final easter egg. Alright, look, we'll begin the game, we'll type in face punch, nothing happens, then we'll do the last easter egg, and that's it. This is That'll story. be it for the night, because it's, uh, it's practically midnight now, and I do gotta end the stream. Alright, um, so just type face punch? No, nothing. Uh, face punch? Nothing over here. Maybe I pause and then type it? Face punch. Nope, nothing. That's about it. Okay, so the egg is in the monitor room again. Where, um, the mind control facility, All right? His co-workers were gone. And... The this third button. mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I don't know if I'm gonna go that far with Stanley Parable 8. This is, yeah, like, I'm so tired. Whew. Then the door will open. Okay. Oh, there it is. And you can go to the lights button. The first button. Okay. Uh, and what do I just press it? Okay. at least lower the freaking volume of that holy crap <laughs> ah, oh my god all right i think that's it for now Did you get the settings champion? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but whatever I am missing, I I think I'm done. I think if the, if I'm you know feeling like gathering the rest of whatever I'm missing, I'll probably end up doing that off stream because I don't think it's worth doing another stream just for the rest of the stuff. Uh, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much, VB. I sent you the chart I use on Discord for you to look at. All right. Yeah. Nah, you're done. Yeah, uh, I figured. I'll check the achievements later. 
All right, you guys, take care of yourselves. Please sleep, sleep well, have a good morning and or night, wherever you're from. Uh, I'll be back with more Guild Wars 2 this Thursday and Sunday. Thursdays and Sundays will continue to be Guild Wars 2. Next Tuesday, however, I will be going back, for, uh, I'll be continuing my playthrough of The Darkest Dungeon from last year. Every year I play Darkest Dungeon for at least one month. So for the month of June, on Tuesdays, uh, I'll be playing that game. A little bit of a forewarning though, because I love—I have that game heavily modded, mostly anime girl mods. So yeah, you you, you know what to expect. It's me. We're, we're talking about me. You guys have a good night, all right? Take care of yourselves and stay safe. No, no, no porn mods. <laughs> it's just loot. Tastefully.